Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Mozilla has recently rolled out Firefox 133, which is the latest release and the first major version upgrade of this year. And as I mentioned in the video, which will be linked down below and in the end screen, it received its regular security fixes, some changes, and also included a couple of new features. Now, while we are talking about new features in Firefox, if we pop over to the latest preview version, which is Firefox Nightly 136, it seems that uh, Mozilla is working on a new profile manager for the browser. So if we head up to our main hamburger menu, yeah, under my username, we get profiles, which is a new section in the main menu. And if I click on that, we can, in this menu, we can add a new profile directly from this menu, or we can click on manage profiles, which opens a secondary window. And yeah, you can choose a different profile. You can edit uh, the profile, the name, the icon, accent color, and so on. And to create a new profile, as you can see, you just click on the relevant um, create profile, and that'll open up another window where we've got all our different options we can enter to customize the new profile. So as an example, profile name, let's just call that work just as an example. And we can give that a color, marigold, and I can choose an avatar. So let's just choose that one there. So done editing and there we go. And there's my new profile that's um, been allocated to the browser. And now you can see underneath, it says choose a profile when nightly opens. So you can toggle that on or toggle that off. So if we close that and we close the browser and then we relaunch Firefox Nightly, you'll see it gives me now the option to either choose my original profile or my work profile. So I'm just going to choose my work profile. And there we go. So the browser will open up um, in that relevant profile. So you get the general idea. And if we just head back in, I'm going to head back to my original profile what we can do is as mentioned we have a couple of options so if i head in you'll see now that i can edit my original profile directly from this menu i can enter my work profile i can create a new profile and i can manage my profiles so if i don't want to choose a profile when nightly opens i uncheck that box We'll close that, close the browser, and then let's relaunch, and you'll see it'll take me now directly into the profile that I've chosen. So we've got a good couple of options. And if we just head back into this, as mentioned, you can actually then delete the profile, just to give you an idea. So there we go. And let's just go delete, and there we go. That profile then is gone, and I've just got my original profile. So you get the general idea. Now, just a couple of heads up and a heads up with this feature is this can be enabled in the nightly using an experimental flag it's not a default feature so it's still early days so if you are testing features in nightly then what we would do is we'd head up to our address bar enter about colon config and accept the risk and continue and then what we would do is in the search just type in profiles And here's the flag we're looking for, browser.profiles.enabled. And what you would do is you would change that using this toggle from false to true. Okay, so that will actually um, enable the feature. And then what you would do is you would close the browser and then relaunch the browser to apply uh, that new profile setting and that new profile change. Um, there we go. So it's applied that. So there we go. And something else to take note of is that the same flag is available, browser.profiles.enabled, in the stable version. But I'm going to give you a quick heads up. I would not enable it because it is very unstable and doesn't work properly and can cause problems uh, in the stable version of Mozilla Firefox because there's a bit of work still left to do. So although the flag is available in stable, I wouldn't advise enabling it. If you want to test it out, get a preview version and enable the flag in a preview version. So there we have it, guys. We have our new profile menu, and I think there's a good chance that this um, is on its way to an up-and-coming future version of the browser. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.